I am uh, Eva Evia and I am a professor in inorganic chemistry at the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow. Um, I work in synthetic chemistry and synthetic chemistry is an area um, that really what we look at is how we can design molecules, how we can construct them. So a way to describe the work that I do is like if I was a molecular architect. Um, our work provides the tools to build, uh, to, to put the atoms together and to build the molecules that we really uh, need. Uh, for target applications. So I guess that the most uh, useful piece of advice I would say is follow your dreams and, and sometimes you know the pathway can be difficult but it doesn't matter I think as long as you have the passion and the energy to do it. Um, this is something my daughter who's seven years old just to always tell me and I think it's very useful it's like Try your best and never give up. And I think that's what I would say to anyone that wants to pursue a career in science. So when we are building molecules, many times we use metals that are not earth abundant. And sooner rather than later, we are going to run out of them. We also use solvents that can be very toxic for the environment. So I think the main challenges, and I think where we are working towards and making progress, is to develop more sustainable solutions. Try to develop chemistry that is much greener, that uses metals that are earth abundant, that they are cheap, and also, of course, that they are environmentally benign. It's a difficult question. I'm not sure I would be anything else apart from a scientist. I think since I was a very young girl, I always was very curious. I always wanted to know why and the reason of why the stars were so shiny, why the moon was in the sky. So I think since, since I was a wee girl, I always wanted to, to be a scientist. And then I should say that as I went into school, as I progressed into the university, I just fall in love even more with science and in particular with chemistry. So I would like to think that I was always destined to be a scientist. I wish I was. When I was younger, I used to be in the lab all the time and I loved it. I loved to be there and to witness in first person when you prepare your new compounds or when you make a discovery. Now, my job has changed a bit. Now I supervise and I mentor other younger researchers that do that. And it's also very rewarding, I think, to help um, students to um, accomplish these targets, to, to discover uh, and, and to, to be a witness in all this is fantastic as well. So my job has changed. I equally love it as I was at the beginning in my career.